Hi, I'm Natasha Sunshine Antonioni with Beauty Snap, a quick tip beauty and wellness site for the modern woman on the go. And today I'm very excited to share Talia Frazier with you. She is first a mother, second a 10 times Boston marathoner, as well as a philanthropist and entrepreneur. And we're gonna hear all about this amazing woman. So oh, thank you. Well, thank you for being here. We're I'm so excited to, to have here. you. So tell us a little bit about yourself and the transition of your career and what you're up to now. Okay, well, I recently just turned 40 this past week. So. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Oh, yes, I'm in the 40s club. <laughs> Happy to be part of it. Um, I guess the last decade has really brought me um, to where I am right now. Mm -hmm. I am a mother of two, of a 15 year old and a 10 year old two little girls. Um, my 10 year old suffered from an undiagnosed disorder and when I almost lost her, that turned me to running and I decided to run my first marathon in her honor. That led to 10 Boston marathons. Um, and then also aside from that, I've had a jewelry business um, that I started in college to get me through college, Talias.net, and it's a scripture line of jewelry which also has um, given me a lot of strength in times that I I've needed it in my life, which we all have. So Well, it's amazing. Would you mind just sharing a little bit of detail about your foundation? Yes. Uh, CC4C.org stands for Cheyenne's Champions for Children, um, named after my daughter, Cheyenne. And what we do is we match high-profile celebrities with children in Austin that have rare undiagnosed disorders. We then place these kids on their dream high school athletic team so they can partake in weekly things beyond just the countless medical um, visits that they have. So this emotionally inspires these children to keep fighting for their finish line of recovery and diagnosis, as well as we hold events. One is coming up this Sunday that I'll tell you mm. later on about. Um, and the money that we raise goes to help these children um, find a diagnosis. And we cover anything that healthcare won't cover. So much to juggle. Oh, and you yes. and I met at the gym, and yes. you can't see it, but this woman's oh, figure is beyond. Thank you. So what is thank your you. like uh, fitness philosophy, or what's your okay. secret to looking this fabulous? Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> well, I would say um, my secret is, <laughs> It's very easy. Everything has to be very easy Yes. <laughs> in my life. So um, first thing when I wake up, it's a fresh glass of water with lemon juice in it. Mm. So I squeeze a lemon and I even do that for my children and they fight me most of the time. So I just, you know, it's not like I just have these children, yes, mommy, because it's good for me. They fight me, but you know, that cleanses our liver, which is our fat burning machine. Mm. And so we can do that first thing in the morning. It's energizing. I always think of I'm cleansing my body. So that's one, that'd be something very simple. I feel like everybody can um, implement in their life that will make a huge difference. And I heard that that actually kickstarts your metabolism to kind of keep your metabolism revving at a higher. It does because um, first of all, at night is when your liver is really working the most mm. and it dumps all the toxins from the day into your colon. So if you can drink this, cleanse the liver and cleanse your colon out first thing in the morning, those toxins aren't reabsorbed. So number one for our skin, mm. for our radiance, um, it does that and then you've already jump started that fat burning machine for the day so yes your metabolism is at a peak fabulous thank you for that <laughs> yes and then also i always try to do my workouts first thing in the morning um, i did have to start my running early early in the mornings at five when, dinner and then there's activities and before you know it your your day's gone so my two fitness things are Lemon juice first thing in the morning. <laughs> Set up those clothes at night. So that's the first thing you put on, and then whatever time it is, you know, mm -hmm. that you get that in first thing in the morning. So good. So, so maybe good. later on another show we could go into some. Yeah, we're definitely quick gonna things have at you back. home. We could do some. We're gonna dive into that a little bit further. Home. Yeah. <laughs> Next time we have Talia here. So you and I have touched upon the conversation of mission and feeling like you have a purpose in your life. Would you be open to sharing your mission with us? I would say, when I'm doing this, am I bringing awareness about something beyond me, whether it be for women in, around my age that can be inspired or for the charity, can I inspire children by, 
by doing this or by speaking. So it, it's beyond just me. Am I bringing awareness? Mm -hmm. For the charity, the same thing. I mean, this has been 100% volunteer and I've worked 40 hours a week for the past four years since I founded it. But it's for a reason beyond me for these children that we serve that need hope and help. And then back to the scripture jewelry line of bracelets. And the bracelet is sold to know that this is the keepsake a piece of jewelry that people can reflect on in their hardest times and in their greatest times of life. Am I doing this for a reason beyond myself? And if I can answer yes, then then I am content and I am fulfilled. But I'm human like everybody else. And Doesn't mean you're not tired. 90% of the time, it's not a balance. <laughs> but, um, and even the marathoning, you know, my medal has always gone to a child in need. So mm. when I'm running and I'm training and I'm envisioning giving this medal to the child that needs a finish line, it brings such purpose to my running and it, it makes it fulfilled. So if there was one piece of advice that you could offer women everywhere, what would that be? The one piece of advice is one that I have to tell myself every single day. Mm. <laughs> so it would be to find time and stillness. Mm. And that is because we're always trying to achieve, whether it's being a better mom or being a better business owner or being a better charity worker or whatever we're doing. It's always trying to achieve and we get busier and busier, and busier, where I don't think we find enough time just to have some stillness in our day to find who we really are and to be able to listen to what our true calling is in life. interview and you'd like to see more like this, come check us out at beauty-snap.com. You can find us on YouTube at Beauty Snap TV and you can find us on Facebook at Beauty Snap. We hope to see you there. Bye!